Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Anya Sun. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. May now be seated. Today is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. Now it's time to take a brain break. Let's check in with Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Wani. Sports fans, this past Tuesday was our second soccer game. Our Patriots played against Championsville Academy. We lost with a score of 2-3, to three, but we most definitely put up a fight, with Isaiah Bazil scoring the first goal and Aiden Badley scoring the second one. We're getting closer to a win, guys. Keep on practicing. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is pizza zippers, french fries, banana, in your taste of milk, students, there is a shortage of sporks, so they can only be given to students that are afraid to see much. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. What up, Petit? Let's go. Back to money. Thank you, Sonia. It's time again for the Rex Pines Thanksgiving Food Drive. Bring in your canned and other non-perishable food items for a chance to win your class a popsicle party. Teachers can also win a Starbucks gift card for the best decorated food crate. The food drive runs from Monday, November 1st to Friday, November 12th, so let's make every can count. All proceeds benefit Feeding South Florida. Scholars, today we have a pizza party for every one of our outstanding students who passed 25 iReady lessons for the reading and math iReady, who received a flyer. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thanks, Vonnie. Hey Patriots, looks like today's weather is 85 degrees with partly cloudy skies. It's looking nice today, so why not go outside and enjoy it? In other weather news, researchers say that melting Arctic sea ice could potentially increase wildfire risk. Researchers viewed 40 years worth of fire and ice data and found a shocking connection. The melting sea ice shifts polar jet stream and that could cause changes in our air bringing drier, hotter air to the west. This is creating fuel for wildfires. Now let's go to Vani for our Patriots on the Go segment. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani Gosain. Now let's see what the Patriots think about our new question. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Now let's see what the Patriots think. Hi, do you want to be interviewed? Sure. Well, we have a question. If you had three wishes, what would it be? Um, to get money, um, to get a wealthy job, and to, pass, and to graduate high school. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now let's see our next Patriot. Hi, would you like to get interviewed? Yes. Well, we have a question. If you had three wishes, what would it be? Um, unlimited wishes, money, and good luck for the rest of my life. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, next, see you next, Patriot. <laughs> Do you want to be interviewed? Sure, why not? Well, I have a question. If you had three wishes, what would it be? New shoes, three more wishes, better grades. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, do you guys want to get interviewed? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, we have a question. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Hope Buster, Aquaman, and Iron Man. What? Hope Buster, Iron Man, Aquaman. To meet them? That's amazing, three wishes. All right, let's see your answer. I would like to go to Disneyland, Legoland, and Hawaii. Oh, that's nice. Hi, would you like getting interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Uh, having a house, a new house, and a new car. Probably a puppy, too. Oh, amazing. 
Now let's see our next patriot. Hi, would you like to get interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, to be a billionaire, to have a new pet, and to have a big house. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, well, let's see our next patriot. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, brand new car and a brand new house and a brand new pet. A brand new car, a brand new house, and a brand new what? Pet. Pet? Oh, that's so nice. I want a pet, too. Well, that's all for today, Patriots. We had some very intelligent answers today. Bye! Wow, amazing answers, Patriots. Today's birthday girl is Kate Coca. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Only, Miss Shadid, Miss Fletcher, Miss Mraz, and Miss Carter. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, When did the Second World War end? The correct answer is 1945. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the imaginary line called that connects the North and South Pole? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!